Guys, how's it going? Thank you for stopping by again. On this video, I want to talk about watchmaking. My friends, a lot of my followers out here, they they ask me questions about what movement should I start with? How should I start watchmaking? How should I start working with watches? So I wanted to make this little video to uh, just explain a little bit the differences about movements on uh, and watchmakings and not so much as far as the movement but what you should start with when uh, opening up your first movement now if i were you i would start with a big old pocket watch big pocket watch you're gonna have the big screws that are gonna be very easy to grip with your screwdrivers even if you don't have the best quality screwdrivers you're not going to have to sharpen them as often and uh, the bridges are going to be nice and big so when you put your gears back in you're going to be able to uh, hit that bridge right away it's going to be very very much very easy to uh, work on you know and this is a pocket watch is always a good way to start your balance is nice and big and you could probably get it uh, you know get it taken within your first try you're not going to be uh, you know taking it off and putting it back on because you uh, jumped the uh, the pilot fork you know the these are very good watches to uh, start working on like I said nice big this is going to be your basic pocket watch you know your three hand pocket watch let me see if I could open it here there we go sideways okay doesn't matter but nice big pocket watch guys start if you're going to start working on watches I always recommend get yourself one of these get yourself a nice swiss made one or an american made one but uh don't get one of those ingersolls or uh, any any other movement that it's uh that uh, the west locks they're they don't have screws they have rivets they're riveted together so those are not serviceable make sure you get a pocket watch that has screws gears and that you can take them apart and put them back in so this is what i would start with Second, I would start with one of these bad boys. This is your basic time only watch. Here you go, basic time only. Now, if you start looking at this one, if I show you this one again, I'm going to zoom into the click right here just to put an example. See how big this click is? It's nice, big, the screw is big, you know, the springs are going to be bigger. And uh, let me compare. This is the click for this other one. For a time only, this is the majority of the watches you're going to be working on. Something that looks like this. Now, you're going to go with a small click. Your, screwdriver, your screws are going to be much smaller. Okay, your bridges are going to be tighter. So when you place them back, it's going to be a little bit harder to hit the the like right here the gear right here it's going to be a lot harder to hit it on the spot when you when you're placing back your uh your bridge so these are much harder to work on but this this is what you're going to have to practice on a lot once you graduate from the pocket watch and i'll show it to you again this is an like i said a normal uh Time only watch, three hand, seventeen jewel. But when you want to test your patience, when you think you know everything and that you could do anything you want, I want you to try one of these. You guys try one of these. This is the watch you're going to practice on when you're ready to lose your hair, when you're ready to call it quits, and uh, when when you got a little bit too cocky with this one, that you could put it back together, clean it, and, and do everything, then come back to one of these. Guys, if I ever had a hard time, it was, it was with these watches. The plates are small. The screws are so small, so minuscule. The, the springs, just the springs on these to uh, put in pla back in place, the spring for the clicker and the, the top springs, everything is much, much harder on these watches. Just to try to put, 
on a watch like this, trying to put this balance back, you don't get it on the first try. You don't get it on the second try. You get it after you shed a few tears and uh, and then you uh, cuss a little bit. You go up for a coffee break. Then you come back downstairs and uh, and do it, assuming your shop is downstairs like mine. Then you come back and hit that balance and hit the bridge on top of those gears. Guys, these little watches, they are a handful. Complete handful. Here's a little Omega. So just to show you the difference. Show you the difference in movement. And there you go, guys. That's the difference in movement. It's a different, it's a different, different ballpark. So this is for my friends out there that uh, want to start working on watches and that have always been asking me. And this is one of the tips I give you. Start with the pocket watch and go with the time only men's watch. This is where you're going to do most of your work. And then when you have nothing to do and find one of these at a flea market and want to lose some hair, give one of these a shot. Guys, thank you so much for stopping by. Appreciate it. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe if you uh, like this video. Thank you so much. Appreciate it.